I was born in Mexico, in the city of León, Guanajuato. It's a beautiful city in the mountains. I studied mechanical and electrical engineering because since I was a kid, uh, and I am the oldest of five brothers, became all engineers. My parents instilled in us a desire to learn. I wanted to uh, build things and to analyze things. The process took me to uh, a career in mechanical engineering that extended to civil, electrical communications, and even uh, architecture. I wanted to go in a different direction, which was becoming a scientist. With support from my wife, we decided, okay, let me take a 75% cut in my salary, then and go back to school. Yes, without my wife, I, I wouldn't be here. Without her support, oh, I, I really wouldn't. I went back to the University of Guanajuato in this case, and pursued my first master's in uh, engineering design. And at that time, uh, I basically got a Fulbright fellowship to do a second master's and a PhD at the University of Notre Dame in mechanical engineering, where I studied, I did my PhD, finished in 2002. And uh, so I developed my thesis in uh, finite difference methods in fluid mechanics and heat transfer. And that took me into the direction I am, I am in right now. The idea is to develop thermal systems that are, are, are good for society. You know? my, my interests range from macroscopic and geophysical flows to microscopic and flows in microchannels, let's say. Do I use a set of different techniques from hard computing, which is uh, the typical numerical methods, or soft computing? And these techniques enable us to basically understand them better and modeling their behavior of better. When they enroll in, in my classes, they, they know that they have to work and they have to work a lot. And they accept the challenge and they really are engaged. So that feedback that I receive from them feeds me to provide more uh, information, it gives me enthusiasm. And that's why I have uh, done it for so many, many years. Cal State enables me to have higher impact on people. We can change lives in students, and I have seen it through the years. I arrived here in uh, 2008, and in basically nine years, I've seen many of my students' lives completely change. Oh, my students, they are great, honestly. They are uh, very engaged. They are very enthusiastic. They want to learn. They teach me on how to become a better mentor. There are so many things to learn. And the more, the more I learn, the more I know that I don't know. So the more I want to learn.